What's up guys, this is Cody here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the top 25 tweaks in iOS 9.3.3. Now in this list, I'm gonna be showing you a lot of brand new tweaks that have just been released, as well as some compatible awesome tweaks that have recently been updated. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now before we get into this list, I do wanna mention that I am going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around if you want to be a part of that. And there's actually going to be a thousand 1,000 winners, so your chances are pretty good. But first, let's check out some tweaks. So the first tweak we have here is called Emojiant, or Emojiant. Basically what this does is give you those large emojis that you have in iOS 10, as you can see right here. So you will have to add a repo for that, and I'll put all the repos in the description below for you guys. Now while Emojiant gives you those large emojis, if you actually want your emojis to look like iOS 10 style emojis, like iOS 10 beta 4, then, you'll have to download a tweak called iOS 10 emojis. And this actually uh, will come with a repo, so you'll have to add that. I'll put that in the link in the description below for you guys. But you can see there's basically just a little bit more shading on these emojis. They look a little bit more 3D than they did before, and that is from iOS 10 beta 4. And these were actually ported directly over from that, so these look exactly like the iOS 10 emojis. We also have a tweak called Reser 9. So if we go ahead and send ourselves a text message, you can see once I get a banner notification, it's tiny. So it's literally just like tiny bar. If you guys remember that tweet, basically what it does is replace that large banner that you normally get and just use the status bar for that banner. This is a free tweak and I definitely recommend checking it out. I always love tiny bar and right now Rezzer is doing a fine job. Another tweak I really like is called Nude Keys. Now this used to be paid, but it has been recently updated and now it's free. So what it does is basically get rid of all the outlines of the keys and gives you a nude keyboard. So basically it just looks a little bit more modern, sleek, and in my opinion, a whole lot better than the stock keyboard. Next is a tweak called Decorus. Now this is a paid tweak, so the only reason I say that is because you probably wanna wait a little while before you download this, just because there are some bugs that I'm having to deal with. But the concept of the tweak is actually pretty cool. It looks really nice and the whole settings are set up pretty good. So you can see what it does here is if you swipe up, you can change the different color uh, of your, your control center here. You can also see the layout is completely different, just like iOS 10. So if we swipe over here, you actually get your music controls as well. Now the issue is, as you can see right here, that we have a black, completely black, opaque background. And it does that, it just basically blacks out the entire thing. The other thing is it's kind of hard to actually get it to work correctly just because when you are in the settings here, if you tap on settings, you can see you can change uh, the colors of the control center blur, the music control blur, backdrop blur, titles bl color, and it just doesn't work all that well. Now, the concept, like I said, is really cool, and it's worked a couple of times, but when I respring, it kind of screws up. So just keep that in mind if you decide that you wanna check out Decorus. Hopefully in a future update, we can have this thing running smoothly because it's a really cool tweak. Next up, we have a tweak called Ana Launch. So what this does is basically animate the icon when you launch it from your springboard. So you can see, if we go ahead and tap on calculator, you can see that it did just a little wiggle. Right now I have it set up to random, so it just does random stuff. So if I tap on settings, you can see it just spin right there. Health, it got kind of did a little bit of a press. And if we go into settings and we just go into Ana Launch just to give you guys a quick look, you can see the animations right here. There's actually quite a few of them. So you can tap on this and you can see all the animations right here. So right now I just have it set to just random so it'll you know show you all kinds of different stuff. Now if you wanted to, you can change this per app. So you can select the app that you want and then you can select the animation for that particular app. Now the only problem I have with setting this up uh, as random is that sometimes it hops over, like the icon jumps over, and then it zooms in kind of weird. And you actually saw that in a previous uh, portion when I was demonstrating the last tweak. So let's just do the Mac OS X dock bounce. So I mean, something like that is nice and simple and I think it's still clean and looks really good. Next up, we have a tweak called Classic Folder. So you can see right here, if I swipe over and open up a folder, then we get that nice little animation right there. Not to mention the folder just looks good in and of itself. Now, there are some settings that you can set this up. That's just one of them. So you can see this is the settings for it. So just make sure that it is enabled. And then right here for mode, we have it set to modern. So we can change this to Mavericks Classic or iOS 4 Beta, just depending on what you want or what you want it to look like. And these are some nice looking folders. Uh, if we just select Mavericks, then we can do so right here. But if you have it on modern, you can change this 
to have a dark tint rather than that light tint that we were just looking at, as well as icon outline. And for classic mode, you can change this to classic icon shape. But just to give you guys an idea what Mavericks looks like, we'll go ahead and respring the device here and we'll check it out. All right, so now that we've resprung, we'll go ahead and swipe to unlock, swipe over here and tap on our folder right there. And you can see exactly what that looks like. Next up, we have a tweak called Color Flow 2. Now, this is a recently updated tweak. It's been around for a little while now, but this is the newest version. And basically what it does is take the most dominant colors in the album artwork and then use those throughout the entire UI. So basically it just makes everything look really nice and seamless. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and change this to a different song, and I have a bunch of terrible music on this phone. I don't ever use it. So you can see, so this is actually a music video, so it's using just a kind of a dull color. But let's go ahead, let's play some Unbox Therapy here and see what it does for that. So it's all white. Let's try one more to kind of get a better idea. So you guys get the gist of what this does. And with really nice album artwork, this tweak looks awesome. Another tweak we have here is called Camera Tweak 4. Now this is basically overhauling the camera app here, but basically you'll see right down here at the bottom that we have a little camera button. And then if we tap on that, you can see that we have some tools pop up. So right here is the focus. So right now it's A for automatic focus. If we tap on that, you can actually slide this across and it's going to go to manual. So you can basically change where that focus is. If you want to refocus automatically, then you can just tap on the screen and it'll go back to automatic. You also have the white balance lock. So basically it's not going to auto correct for white balancing, which can be nice in some situations. You also have the aperture over here that you can swipe up and down if you're trying to get that perfect shot. Right up here at the top, you can tap on that and this is basically going to give you a timer for your camera. So if you want it to be for three seconds, then we can hit the photo and it's going to take 10 pictures in three seconds, as you can see right there. Also, if we swipe over here to video, we have some more features, one of them being the resolution. So if we tap on that, you can see that we can go up to 2448p all the way down to 144p. So this is basically going to depend directly on the type of device you have, but you can switch this out pretty quickly. Also right over here, you can change the frames per second. So basically you just drag this little slider all the way around like that, and it can go up to 240 frames per second. Now, if you want to, you can hit the record button, and then you see right down here, it's actually kind of hard to see, but there is a pause button. So if we tap pause, it's going to pause the recording. And if you want to continue recording on that same video, then you would just tap the pause button again, and it's going to continue recording just like that. So that's a really nice feature in and of itself. So it's definitely worth checking out Camera Tweak 4 if any of these features interest you. Now, one of the features that I like and I use a lot on iOS is Do Not Disturb. Now, this tweak called Disturb Please is basically giving some more functionality to that feature. So the features or the settings are actually within the Do Not Disturb. So we're gonna go ahead and tap OK. Now, of course, you have your scheduling here. So you have the manual and then you have the scheduled and then the schedule enabler on. But as we swipe down, you can see you can allow call from favorites, no one, everyone, all contacts. So you can basically add people to your favorites if you want to select just that group to allow phone calls or text messages from. Also right down here, we still have the uh, repeated calls toggle, but you can also see that we can allow messages from same people right here. So you have all contacts, favorites, no one or everyone. So basically it just gives you more settings for your do not disturb feature in terms of who you allow to reach you during that time. Next, we have a tweak called Flyer. Now, what Flyer does is allow you to change the send button on your messages to an actual uh, image or an icon. So you can see right here, if I type something, it's changed to a little airplane. Now, you can actually change this in the settings here. So if we go into the settings and we scroll down here to Flyer, open that up, you can see you can change the image right here. So if you want to change it to a gun or a rocket, spaceship, thumbs up from Facebook, check, circle, all kinds of good stuff. We'll just go ahead and do that. Now we'll open up messages. And actually we need to close out of messages first for it to refresh. And you can see it's now a circle, just like that. Next up we have a tweet called Cairo. So what this does is allow you to schedule iMessages or text messages. So if we go into our messages here, you can see that if we just tap on the little messages box and then all we have to do is just type anything in 
and then you'll get the little airplane uh, right over here. So basically you just wanna tap and hold on this, and it's going to give you a little menu. So there's two options, one to schedule the, the message so you can send this at a later time, or to literally just switch the service. So if you switch the service, it's just going to go to text message rather than iMessage. But if we wanted to schedule it, we'll tap on schedule, and you can see we can swipe this down to 920. Actually, let's just do 919. We'll tap select, we'll close out of this, and we should get a uh, banner notification here at 919. Now before it turns 919, if we go into our messages here and we go back, you can actually see that we have a folder here that's going to show us all of our scheduled messages. So it's actually going to send the message at 9.19.59 p.m., so literally the second before 9.20. So let's go ahead and go out and wait for our message. So you can see right there, I just got a banner notification because it sent it at 9.20. So if we go ahead and swipe this up, you can see 9.20, and it sent fifth, just like we scheduled. Now before we go any further, I know a lot of people are going to be asking, this is a theme called Vexalum. And if you guys want the wallpaper, just be sure to follow me on Twitter and I'll put that link in the description below for you. Here we have a tweet called Battery Flow. So what this does is allow you to manage the alerts for your battery. So you see here you have several pop-up options. So for your first pop-up, second, fourth, fifth, you also can change this from an actual pop-up to a banner or literally nothing. So in my opinion, I think a banner is sufficient enough uh, for the battery when it's telling me that it's lower than you know 20% or it's at 10% or anything. Of course, if you wanna manage those, then you can tap right here and you can actually change uh, what percentage that you get the alert at as well as what the banner actually says. So you can change the title of the banner as well as the message of the banner. You can also add a sound if you want to just by toggling this on and then selecting the sound file. Uh, and you also can turn on vibration if you wanna do that. Pretty simple and straightforward tweak. Next we have a simple tweak called Beep Beep. And basically what this does is allow you to customize what happens when you plug in your device to charge. So you see right here, you just enable it and then you can change the charging sound or you can actually enable the charging sound or turn it off altogether just with this toggle right here. And then if you wanna change the sound, then you can toggle this on and then select the sound file. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and do this, we will not have any vibration and we'll have a different sound. So let's make sure that our volume is up here and let's try it. Well, I guess we should probably turn on the charging sound before we do that. All right, let's try it again. So there's the iOS 6 charging sound. But for me, I would turn off all sound uh, for this tweak. That's basically what I would use it for, as well as getting rid of the vibration. I don't need all that. Here we have a tweak called Smart Tap. So what this tweak does is basically allow you to lock your device and wake your device with a double tap of the screen. So if you do that, it's going to lock it, and then you can wake it up just like that. So that right there is the main feature of this tweak and I like it just for that reason. But you can see right here, there's actually a couple of things you can change. So you can uh, change what happens when you double tap the screen, change what happens when you swipe up from the bottom or down from the top. So you can change this to unlock the device if you swipe up from the bottom. And if we wanna swipe down from the top, we can choose an activator action. So as long as you have activator installed, then you can basically make it do whatever you want to. So for instance, if we wanted to add an application shortcut, then we can tap right here, and then we can, uh, let's just say, a new tab in Safari. So we'll just do uh, a new tab right there, and then we'll close it, and now we'll go back to the home screen. And then if we swipe up while the screen is off, you can see it's going to unlock the device. Now if we go back here, and this is going to basically make a, I don't even remember what I assigned it to, but we're gonna swipe down from the top. Oh yeah, it's gonna break, open up a new tab. So you can see how that works right there. Now, people are gonna ask, is this going to drain your battery? This is definitely going to use your battery more than most tweaks. So if you're having battery issues, then just keep that in mind, but it's still a pretty cool tweak. Next, we have a tweak called Boot Sound. So every time you boot your device, it's going to give you a custom sound. So if we open up our settings and we swipe up just a little bit, you can see that we have Boot Sound. So you can change this to play even when it's on silent mode. You can have it play early, and you can change the slider right here to basically how early you want it to play. Now here for the sound, you have a few options. So you have Mac OS, Ubuntu, Vista, or Windows XP. So let's just use Ubuntu right here, and then we'll respring the device and listen. So of course you can do that with all uh, of these. We'll do the Mac OS now. So 
So a pretty cool tweak if you want to customize your boot sound. Next we have a tweak called browser tab. So what it does is basically allow a different UI for your browser tab. So if we go ahead and open up Safari here, all you want to do is just press and hold on the share button and then you should get a menu just like this. So you can basically swipe through here for all the tabs that you have open that you can tap on and open up. Or if you want to, here are your favorites right up here that you can tap on and go directly to. So if we just tap on one of these, it's going to open up that website right there. So if you just want a different look for your tabs rather than just the regular you know, look just like this, then definitely check out browser tabs. So next up we have a tweak called bypass. So what bypass does is allow you to bypass your passcode using an activator action on your lock screen. So if we go over here into activator, this is where you're gonna set this up. So just make sure you have activator and we're gonna go back here. All you wanna do is open up anywhere and then you're gonna scroll down here to what action you want to do on the lock screen. So do you wanna double tap the clock, swipe down, swipe left, right, or tap and hold on the clock. So we're just gonna do a double tap of the clock. You can see I've actually already assigned it to bypass. So now when we go to our lock screen here, we should be able to just double tap on the clock and it to unlock the device, just like that. Here we have a tweak called image board. So what image board does is allow you to put a picture background on your keyboard. So if we go ahead and pull down, swipe down right there, you can see I have a conjunction of nude keys with image board. So I basically put a nice little blurred out picture right there on the background for my keyboard. Now it's actually really easy to set up. So if we go ahead and scroll down here to image board and open that up, it's really simple. You just select an image, you save the image, and then it respring. So if you have it on a different image, so for instance, let's just go ahead and select this image right here and we'll save it and it's going to respring automatically. And once it comes back, let's actually just tap on that to unlock, it's a little bit easier. And you can see it's added that different background. Now, that was actually a screenshot of my uh, home screen. I thought it was a blurred wallpaper so you can see my uh, time right there. But you basically get the idea of how that works and you can actually get some really nice looking keyboards out of this. Next is a tweak called spin. So what this does is basically just give you a new UI on your lock screen here when you're playing music. So you have your album artwork right here. You also have the uh, little dial that you can basically drag around to skip through your music right there. Also all your controls for the next or previous or play pause are right down here. Of course you have the song name and artist as well as that clock has actually moved a little bit. So here in the settings you can see you enable it. You can enable the background artwork as well as larger controls if you want that. And then you can change the spinner and basically the position of the spinner if you have a different device and it just doesn't look right, as well as the clock. So you can change up the font, the uh, 24 hour clock, or the font size, the buttons, the labels, as well as some extras right here for landscape support and dynamic label colors. So it has quite a bit of customization there. So if you like the look of it, check it out. Next is an almost useless tweak, but I think it's kind of cool and it's called unlock counter. So basically every time you unlock your device, unlock counter keeps track of that. So you can see today I've actually unlocked my device 54 times and it's going to continue to keep track of that every time I unlock my device. So now if we go ahead and unlock the device, it should say 54, which it does right there. Now you can also filter this to year, month, day, and hour. So for instance, if we tap on hour, you can see that I've unlocked my device 16 times within the last hour. And you can even tap on chart right here to show you a chart. It's kind of crazy the amount of features that you have here just to count the, the times that you unlock your device. But if you know you were asleep at midnight to six in the morning and you see some unlocks on your device and you had your girlfriend or boyfriend sleep over, somebody's got some explaining to do. Next up we have a tweet called Aporio. So as you guys know, if you guys watch my iPhone life hacks video, that when you put your device into airplane mode, of course it's going to charge faster. Now, that's exactly what Aporio does. So when you plug in your device, it immediately puts it into airplane mode so that it'll charge faster. Of course, all you wanna do is enable the tweak. So normally at 80%, it's going to kick out of low power mode. But if you don't want it to, then you can just toggle this on right here. And then you also have a toggle to stay in low power mode even after you disconnect. And then you can disable low power mode at 100%. So now we're going to apply the changes and I should be in low power mode when it boots back up. And you can see I have a yellow battery, meaning I'm in low power mode. 
Now here we have another folder tweak called Exto. So if we swipe over here and we just press and hold on the folder, it's actually going to display the icons right there within the folder that we can just drag our finger over to open right up, just like that. Now depending on where the folder actually is, it's going to change uh, how those icons are presented. So if we put it up here at the top, then you can see it's going to basically flay those out on the bottom. Same thing goes for if we put this in the dock down here and try it again, you can see how that works. Here we have a tweet called haptic feedback. So what this does is give you haptic feedback wherever you actually toggle it on. So you obviously need to enable this and then when you press the lock button if you want that, then you can uh, basically get that haptic feedback. Same thing for the home button, the volume buttons, keyboard touches, music controls, home screen icon tapped, as well as when unlocked. So now if we go ahead and pull this down, you can hear that vibration right there. And when I hit the home button, it vibrated. So when I hit the lock, it actually didn't vibrate for some reason. Let's try it again. There, it vibrated that time and it vibrate on the, the home button. So that's basically what haptic feedback is gonna do for you. Now it's not as precise as haptic pro, but it's also free. So it's definitely a really good alternative. Next we have a tweet called depth icons or depth icons. Now you can see what this kind of does. It might be hard to tell, but you can see the icons actually have depth when you spin them. So you can really tell on the settings icon right there. But if I just move slowly, you can see like the heart is moving across the health app right there and that is all due to Depthicons. Now Depthicons is $3 tweak and the caveat is it doesn't work with any theme. It only works on stock icons. So is it a cool tweak? Yes. Is it worth three bucks? Probably not. And last but not least we have a tweak called Snakebite 2. Now what this tweak does is basically give you quick access to your recent apps or even your favorite apps depending on how you set this up. So for instance if we go into our tweet bot here you can see if I just 3D press on the side here, I'm actually going to get Snakebite. So you just drag your finger over the application that you want to open up, and it's going to open right up, just like that. So let's just go ahead and open up, let's just say Reddit here. And then we can 3D press on the side again. We can open up LifeX. So it's basically just taking advantage of that 3D press on the side there. And if you open up the very bottom one, that is your multitasker. And of course, you can customize this a bit in your settings. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed those tweaks. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. But of course, I know you didn't forget about that giveaway. So that's why you see my face right now. I'm about to explain to you what that giveaway is all about. So I said there's going to be a thousand winners, and I meant it. There's going to be a thousand winners. So this is going to be for all you jailbroken people out there because it's basically going to be premium accounts for these specific tweaks. So if you guys haven't heard of Unlim Apps, he is basically a developer that breaks all the boundaries of really popular social media applications. So just to name a few, we have Facebook Plus Plus, we have Instagram Plus Plus, Gmail Plus Plus, Messenger Plus Plus, PokeGo Plus Plus. You guys have probably heard of that with all the awesome hacks in Pokemon Go that I've been doing a lot of videos on. Yeah, there's that. As well as Telegram Plus Plus, Twitch, Twitter, Vine, WhatsApp, YouTube, I mean there's a lot of these. Now you can download these right now if you want to, but you're gonna have to deal with ads. But if you don't wanna deal with ads, then you wanna enter on this giveaway because that's what this is going to get you. A premium account for all those plus plus tweaks. So what that means is you're not gonna get any more ads on these tweaks. Now, if you wanna download them right now and you don't wanna enter the giveaway, do so, that's cool with me. You just have to add the repo in the description below. But if you do wanna enter on the giveaway, then all you have to do is sign up for a plus plus account and then we will choose basically a thousand people that are gonna get premium accounts. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna actually have the doc up at this moment in time when this video goes up, but if there's not a doc in the description below, just be sure to follow me on Twitter as well as Unlim Apps on Twitter and we'll be sure to get all that information out to you via Twitter. So again, just to recap, there is 1,000 premium account winners. All you have to do is sign up an account, a plus plus account, and then you're going to want to input that account name in a doc that I provide. So that's going to either be on Twitter or a link in the description below. So just be sure to check the description. If it's not there, follow me on Twitter. I'll tweet it out. So will Unlim Maps. We'll just basically give you all the information that you need. Just trying to give you stuff, man. Is that cool? Can we do that? It's hot in here. It's like a thousand million degrees.
But that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything Apple, tech, jailbreak, Pokemon Go, I'm going to do like a review of a chair soon. A chair, maybe. I don't know. I might. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything that I do, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.